I'm Charlotte Voisey and welcome to The Proper Pour. My inspiration from cocktails comes from many different places. For this drink, it was a piece of classical music that sparked an idea. Flight of the Bumblebee got me thinking about travel and flying and aviation, which took me to the airmail cocktail, a classic with rum, honey, lemon and champagne. Here's my twist. First, four pieces of fresh pineapple. I'm going to muddle these at the bottom of the tin. Press in enough to extract the juice. If you're using fresh pineapple juice, it's about a half ounce. And then freshly squeezed lemon juice, a half ounce. Four dashes of Angostura bitters. And my base spirit for this is Drambuie, a scotch-based honey liqueur. That's the bumblebee reference. One and a half ounces. Now lastly to this, I'm gonna add about eight to 10 loose mint leaves. They just go right into the shaker, no need to muddle. The action of shaking will agitate the mint enough to draw out the aromatics and flavor. So just like the classic air mail, I'm gonna to top this with sparkling wine. First ice up the tall glass, and then we'll strain the cocktail portion. The double strain here will keep the flecks of mint out and any pulp from the fresh pineapple. Let's keep it a bit smoother. And this should come almost halfway up the glass, leaving plenty of room for the sparkling wine. You can use champagne, prosecco, cava, anything that's sort of on the drier side. The sparkling wine will react with fresh fruit, so it might froth up a little. One trick you can try is use your bar spoon and just pour down the bar spoon. Sometimes it controls the froth a little. That way the first sip is nice and balanced. It's not just sparkling wine. Really integrate the ingredients and we'll garnish this with a lemon wheel and then a little flower on top. It is the flight of the bumblebee after all. And we'll serve it with a straw. This makes it easier to enjoy. So quite a departure from the classic airmail, but a delicious cocktail nonetheless. Thank you.